Hey guys, I decided to go ahead and um, post another video while I have the energy. I just, many times, as much as I enjoy doing this, I'll just, because of uh, many things work and um, big bouts of depression, I will just want to feel like it. And so I thought today, let me make another quick video. And I'm just going to show some records from my Y section because it's hard to get to because of the until I get my house uh, remodeled here, which it's going to happen before the summer is over. Parts of my collection, I have to move all this shit just to get to it. And I wanted to show some records in the Y section, partially to show um, you folks that um, I'm not a complete alien. I do have <laughs> many of the same records that many of you listen to, although. Um, there's a lot of stuff I just don't listen to, but I, I have. But anyway, let's go. A record that um, I was looking for, talking about records you look for and was when you found it. I had looked for this album for a long time after reading about it. The name of the band is Is, Y-S, the French, the French folk rock band, Madame La Frontière. I had read about this album and what I read about it was really glowing. Now, when I read, I try to always read between the lines because it's as much as what is not said or the words that are being used that will tell you more about what the person can't tell you. And what I gathered from this record is that this is probably something that's going to be really melodic and beautiful and that will probably really like it. Um, when I finally found it a few years ago, it, was, uh, it wasn't cheap but I, I grabbed it. I'm really happy to say it was all that. It's a folk rock album. I don't speak French, don't really know what it's all about. There's some notes here. I haven't read them in a while. They may tell me, but my memory of the last time I played this album in its entirety was how I didn't want to take it off and how I turned it back over and put it back on again because it was so beautiful. So I wanted to share this album. Uh, I don't know if they have any other records. Well, actually, yeah, I do know they have I think they do have another record they made with Alan Stibble, possibly. Any of you folks that may know, possibly Big Star 1000, might you know, or someone else, let me know. I wanted to show this, Madame La Frontier. This is a great album. It's, oh, this is not a Y, but it's down there in the area, so I wanted to show it uh, par partially for Jonas, Jonas from uh, Sweden, because I love music from all over the world. I haven't even got to my African and um, an Indian section, and I need I want to show those too because I love music from all over the world. Bangra, I tried to get into Bangra for a while, I kind of did, but Zamla Mama's Mana from Sweden. Um, I understand these are kind of like considered godfathers of Prague in, in Sweden, and for good reason. They, they do a real cool mix of Zappa and folk influences on this music. Apparently, again, correct me if I'm wrong, Jonas. Um, there's a lot of elements of Swedish uh, traditional folk music in their work, as well as the Zappa Mothers type of stuff. Great musicians. Um, I can tell by the nature of some of the songs that their sense of humor is probably really good. But again, I don't speak the language, but Familja Sprikor is the name of this album. It sounds like it's got something to do with family, maybe. I love this cover too. And it's also another, it's a great album, a great label, Silence. Silence. Okay, back into the Wise, a band that I love and, and would like to get um, a few more of their albums on uh, C vinyl. I have all, pretty much everything on CD is The Young Gods. I think this band is out of Switzerland. And uh, uh, they came to my attention through a video I saw on television where the guitar, there was no guitar, it was, it, it was sampled guitar. But, um, the lead singer, apparently Franz, I think is his name, would would sample, would play guitar, they'd sample it, and then they would use it, which I thought was, whoa, that's cool. And then to great effect, the music is heavy. Heavy. It's another single of theirs. What is this? Do you miss, do you miss me? He's got a voice like that. It's just killer. It's just a great, great voice. And the music, I think, is awesome. So I have these. I have these on vinyl. I'd like to get more on vinyl. I've got several CDs. So the next section is is what I have by Neil Young that's in the Y section. And I, again, need to just explain that um, my house is fairly organized, but not everything is all in place. So there may be more Neil Young somewhere in the house. <laughs> but here's what, here's what I can show you. American Stars and Bars, Brother Neil. 
Um, I'm not a fanatic fan. I don't need to be. What I would say about Neil is this. Neil has that essence rare that I talked about, that I listen for and look for in music. He has it in spades. He opens his mouth and his soul opens up and connects with you, me. That's what I hear. When he plays a guitar solo, damn it, you know he means it. It's, you know, Neil Young is, is exceptional. I have Live Rust, Neil Young with Crazy Horse. Much to be said. This is one of his albums that I inherited from a, a friend who passed from cancer. And I still have not listened to this properly, Landing on Water. Couldn't tell you a song off the air. So, I'm going to leave it out, but I would appreciate if somebody would tell me, what what's what are the songs on here I need really need to spend some time with and get to know, okay? Landing on Water by Neil Young. Tell me the good songs to listen to. Russ Never Sleeps, love this album. Haven't been on a Neil Young listening jack for quite a while, but I'll tell you what. Neil Young satisfies. I got it. On the beach. Fabulous. Neil Young, y'all know. I ain't nothing I can say to add. You know. Your ears tell the story. Time fades away. Now I need to look at this. This was a gift, and if I'm remembering correctly, this is a white label promo, which to me is just the bee's knees to have a Neil Young white label promo. Yeah, it is. I got a, a white label promo, Neil Young album. Now, to me, that's a pretty, pretty fucking cool. Time fades away. And this was given to me, you know, which is even more of a blow away. I wasn't expecting it. They just gave me, oh, here's some records. Uh, yeah, you like Neil Young, don't you? And I thought nothing of it. Go pull it out to play it. And I was in hog heaven. I love uh, promos. I love promos. Understanding the history of of them and how you... Anyway, I love promos. Zuma. Now this... I'm thinking I'm just going to have to play this right, right now as soon as I'm done with the video. Zuma. Okay. Alrighty. Just looking at these records, I'm reconnecting with the greatness. The greatness of Neil Young in my mind. And there's no doubting this record, um, after the Gold Rush, one of the first solo things of his I heard back when it came out, and, and it stopped me in my tracks. Yes, Only Love Can Break a Heart. Tell Me Why. Southern Man. When, Southern, when I first heard Southern Man, I said, thank you, Neil. Thank you, my brother. Not thank you, my white brother, just thank you, my brother, Neil. And the last one that I've got here, so yeah, I got some more that's not all together. Um, this first solo album. And he hit the ground running with this album. And what an iconic portrait of the man. That's just fabulous. Just fabulous. So I wanted to show those things right quick. Uh, the last two things I pulled from my Y section, it's not complete. I just pulled a bunch from the Y section. My my alphabets are, are fairly, each letter is pretty big, except for Q. Lester Young. Again, Lester Young is one of the uh, forefathers of great jazz tone. I mean, the man could get a tone, and that was something that I learned from my parents. Okay, I'll bring them up right away. My thoughts are always connected thinking about the last thread that I answered and how did my parents influence me? Well, my dad taught me about listening and not just about runs and licks, but about the, the quality of the sound itself. And one of the things I learned early on about sax from my dad was that there are good players and there are great players. And one of the things that distinguishes great players is not, not so much their soloing ability, but also the tone that they achieve out of the saxophone. You know, the sax is part of it, but but the person and the way they blow air. And Lester Young is a master of tone. Um, I can tell, I can, this goes back to another thread. When I go someplace, this just happened this summer. We were at a coffee shop and uh, there was some jazz playing and I was with uh, Kleeman, 
And uh, he said, uh, do, you know the, do you know who this is playing? And I says, well, sounds like Lester Young. And um, before we, we left, we just decided to find out, hey, is that, who was that playing, Lester Young? Yeah, his tone is unmistakable. And then I have this other one, the Prez! Complete Savoy Recordings, Lester Young. What a, what a master musician. This is some really, really wonderful, wonderful, wonderful music. Lester Young's playing. Once you hear it, you won't be able to mistake him. Someone that's similar in tone and feel is James Moody. So I'm going to stop there. I just grabbed some whys. I felt like posting another video. And um, it got started with me saying, well, I want to show some records I haven't shown yet. And one of the things that keeps me from doing that more often is when I go to start looking for stuff, I get overwhelmed. You know, so I'll make a comment about that. The fulfillment of my dream is a blessing and a curse. I've always wanted a lot of records. Now I have, I've had a lot of records, but now I got a lot of records. But now that I'm getting older and my memory and everything is getting old, I can't remember what I have. And then I'll go start looking and then it's like I reconnect and then I get overwhelmed because it's like, I want to show everything. I want to share everything. And so with the blessings of the creator or the source of all creation, with the blessings of the Creator, I will be able to live and share with you over time as much of this collection as possible because I'd like to. I really enjoy this exchange. I really enjoy it. One last thing I'd like to say is I'm so sorry that some people took offense to me sharing that I don't care for KISS. Because there's some people I've noticed I don't hear from you anymore. I miss you. I'm not going to say names, but I'm, <laughs> I miss you. Well, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's because you're upset that I said I don't like Kiss. And I don't know why you're taking it personal. It ain't about you. You ain't in the band. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you're still watching my videos, you know who you are. Miss you. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk to you soon.